So what you're looking at right now is HDPE plastic, high density polyethylene plastic. It's a certain type of plastic that, you know, milk cartons, medicine bottles, and a bunch of other containers are made out of. So what you can do with this stuff is cut it up, melt it together, and be left with, you know, a blob of plastic basically that you can shape and, you know, cut up and sand and really do anything with to make any sort of shape. So all I did was melt a little bit in this toaster oven, mix it up, add some more, let it melt, mix it up, and add some more. So now you can see I'm left with this molten blob of plastic, and I'm using this form just to, you know, mold it into a rough cylinder. So now that it's cooled off, I just have it in the, the ghetto lathe, as I call it. It's just a drill press modified to act as a lathe. I have a video where I kind of show how I did this a little bit better, but also uh, Nick Ferry on YouTube has a video explaining exactly what you need and how to do this. So I'll leave a link in the description if you want to watch my video and if you want to watch Nick's video. And once you cut into this stuff, you can really see how cool it looks. It's like a, a weird trippy tie-dye from all the plastics melting together and you know making this blob. So I was trying to think of a shape that would, you know, look nice and work well as a beater and I figured an hourglass shape would work so here I'm just kind of roughing it out and making an hourglass. So now I'm just sanding it to get all the tool marks off and this is 80 grit paper and then I actually just skipped every other grit and went straight to 400 because ain't nobody got time for sanding. And now here I'm taking some of the shavings, I'm going to mix it with epoxy and fill in a little hole that was left from mounting it on the lathe. And then also pro tip, if you're going to mix epoxy with something, first mix the epoxy and then add whatever you're adding to it. So you can see here I added the shavings and then added the epoxy and then mixed it all together when really I should have mixed the epoxy and then added the shavings. But whatever, it still works. And then I'll just trim it flush on the disc sander. And then I'll just sand the whole thing. I start with 120 grit on the orbital sander and then finish it by hand with 400. And now I'm just taking some quarter inch rod and cutting it to roughly seven and a half inches for the shaft. So you can see it's pretty dirty and pretty rusty, so a little trick you can do is just put it in a drill and then run some sandpaper over it. And then here I'm just rounding over the end so they're not as rough and not as sharp. And then I'll just give it a quick little buff. And then to attach the shaft to the beater, I'll just use epoxy.
So yeah, that was just a fun little project. It turned out pretty well. A few things I want to point out. First of all, the uh, the hourglass isn't that even. It's a little bit fatter on this side. This side's a little bit skinnier. You can probably tell in the picture. But uh, another thing is there's a small little void right here. And then you can also see where I fill it in with epoxy. And then there's like a few other tiny little voids you probably can't see. Like there's one right there. And like, you know, there's a few other ones here and there. But uh, as far as, you know, experiment, it worked out pretty well. I definitely want to make another one. Also, another thing that you can probably tell is the proportion of the head to the, the shaft is a little bit odd. So I think if it was a little bit bigger, it would look better and also work better. Not saying that it didn't work, but you know, you can always improve on something. So with all that being said, if you want to own this bass drum beater, there's a link in the description to where you can buy it. Now, I only have one, but I plan to make a few more in the future, so I will definitely keep you guys posted. And also, all the money will go directly back into my channel. I want to buy a new camera just to, you know, have better videos. So the money will go directly into the camera fund. Uh, you can also download my YouTube beat tape, and that'll also go into my camera fund. But yeah, that's it for this one. Uh, if you want to watch me make another beater, I'll have an annotation right here you can click to watch me make this beater. But other than that, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.